Finding the arc length of a curve in the xy plane between two values is as easy as taking an integral as long as the thing you're taking the integral of is reasonable. y equals secant x starts at 0, 1 and goes up from there has a vertical asymptote of pi over 2. By the time you get to pi over 4, you're at root 2. And so the ln of these values, the ln of 1 gives 0, the ln of root 2 gives some number, I don't know what it is. But we're looking for the length of that curve there. You do not have to sketch this, I'm just helping you visualize what's going on here. In order to calculate the arc length, you go from your minimum x value 0 to your maximum x value pi over 4, and you're going to need the derivative of y with respect to x. Can you take the derivative of the ln of seek x? If you know chain rule, then you can. Because you'll know that the derivative of a ln of anything is 1 over that same anything times the derivative of that inside. The derivative of secant is seek x tan x. And when you multiply these two through chain rule, the seek x's cancel you end up with a derivative of just tan x. So, the arc length here is the definite integral from 0 to pi over 4 of the square root of 1 plus tan x squared dx. Now, that still probably looks a little impossible unless you're a big fan of trig identities. If you know trig identities, you might know that sine squared plus cos squared equals 1. And the way that I like to write this is dividing everything by sine squared again. That's 1 plus, oh, uh, no, I like dividing everything by cos squared, which gives me tan squared plus cos squared divided by itself is 1, and 1 over cos squared is secant squared. Tan squared plus 1 is sec squared. Tan squared plus 1 is seek squared. So I can just go the square root of secant squared of x here, and now I'm taking the square root of a perfect square, which gives me the definite integral from 0 to pi over 4 of just regular secant x dx. Now I still haven't done any actual integrals here, and you have to know what the integral of secant x is unless you want to derive it on the spot, which I do not. It ends up being the ln of the absolute value of seek x plus tan x. And that is what I'm going to evaluate from 0 to pi over 4. At this point, it's just plugging in the numbers. I have the ln of the secant of pi over 4, which is root 2, plus the tan of pi over 4, which is 1. And I'm going to subtract the ln of the secant of 0, which is 1, plus the tan of 0, which is 0. I end up with the ln of, now if you're a big fan of log rules, you'll know that the difference between two lons is the same as the ln of the quotient. So I end up with root 2 plus 1 over 1. Oh, and I just end up with the ln of root 2 plus 1. Nice. I'm done. That's the length of this curve. I never would have been able to do that if I didn't know this formula, and I never would have been able to use this formula if I didn't know how to take a derivative and use trig identities to simplify it. That's the way it goes. I hope you can do all those things too. Best of luck on the test.